thus the button mashing begins. I'm going to get that right away. I'm going to play 30 minutes. I'm going to go for another 30 and then I'll shut down. That is the ugliest canary ever, by the way. Is that a canary, or is it just like a human in a canary suit that actually knows how to fly? I seriously cannot feel my own right now. It is numb beyond all reason. And it gets harder. I never, I've never, oops, forgot about that. I've never been one good with fall damage. I mean, no, not, not fall damage. Thank you. 
Seriously, this game may be perfect in some parts. But, um, that canary thing really set me back a few steps. This guy's my favorite of the bosses, but he's really easy. So I just did that for no reason. Well, no, I opened up the train for when I find Princess. Why did I do that?
every single hop. I'd probably be exhausted by the time I got like halfway through the second jump. I don't really think I need to blow up in here though. Or maybe the box just levitates through. Yeah, cause that makes sense. Why didn't it just levitate the um... because I remember seeing the little mumbo pad out there. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I was playing Infamous 2. Great game. Uh, Infamous 1 was better. Uh, and then... Um, Saying they're um, 
Little motto, half as long, twice as bright. At first I didn't get it, but after I killed Zeke, worst decision I have ever made, by the way. That was touching in a way to me. Who's gonna go inside of a giant skull on top of a mountain with feathers on top of it? These crazy people, that's who. Then again, I'm playing as a walking skull with feathers on it. So I guess I. Will. And I just saw a gator thing go, ooh, and then explode. I love this game. So I guess I didn't need Bumbo to get that door open. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea what the heck I'm even doing. This is a blind playthrough. Don't judge me if I'm sucking terribly. Yeah, but if I played through this game once, I'd get all this done pretty easily, except for that stupid canary thing. That one is just basically, how fast can you move your hand within a moment of five seconds? And if you can't do it really fast, well, you can't do the game. Okay. A game I'm waiting for to come out, the next Metroid Prime. Actually, no, there's been a handful of Metroid types with the first person and stuff. I'm waiting for the next side scroll, like purely side scroll, like, you know, the classic ones. I'm waiting for those to come back. Okay, Witchy World. No food can be taken off the premises. How does that have to do with not opening the door? Oh, I saw the sign. Right there. Well, then I opened this thing for no reason whatsoever. Something. Yeah, I think we're gonna head over to the carnival. Yeah. And now it's one. Rope. I'm in rope. See? No, I guess it. Oh, this leads to the carnival. I guess I'm here. What would you like to do? I involuntarily went to the area I was trying to get to. Ooh, grenade eggs. Stupid out, you can only carry 25 of these ones though. Yeah, 
get away from me, you stupid floating pterodactyl. Grunty obviously went that way. I'm just going down that way. But um, something tells me that Kazooie needs to be able to break that. And only Kazooie. And I don't have the ability required to do that. Oh, I'm guessing this is where the Hag 1 made impact. The next boss is Mr. Patch. I really don't know how to explain him. Oh, this is where you turn Kazooie into a dragon. I'm not gonna need that for a long time. Like a very, very long time. You actually need to use a Cheeto to get that one. Um, you get the ice key, and you put it in some giant lock and safe somewhere. Then you get the Mega Globo, and then you come there, and yeah, it's kind of obvious what happens then. So I'm sorry, I don't know. children for me because I'm too lazy to play What's this? Okay. Pretty much. 
I got on the video here guys, see you later.